Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the light radar run for the weather warnings as we have got a rain yellow warning issued for the morning so we are going to see some pretty heavy rain moving in from the southwest so even though the last couple of days have been relatively dry for most we're all going to be seeing a deluge tomorrow as heavy rain moves in from the southwest you can see even on the live radar at the moment we're starting to see some of that rain push in we we'll have to have a look at the latest from the UKV as we are going to see Polar Maritime Air pushing in for the second half of this week. Not only bringing much fresher conditions, but bringing much more unstable air. So it could be really quite horrible out there. And there is the risk into the weekend we could actually see pretty stormy conditions with low pressure uh, forming along the southerly tracking jet stream. We'll be able to see that in more detail on the latest GFS, GM, East of UF. And the ensembles is that is looking like it is going to be the pattern for the rest of February. Chilly and very unsettled, if not stormy. And there is some runs starting to show something perhaps a little bit drier and colder into early March, which is expected with the very weak polar vortex we've got at the moment with the sun stratospheric warming. So that is also something to keep an eye on as we head into early March. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, which do like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see we've got rain pushing in from the southwest at the moment, but it's not too widespread and not too heavy yet. However, it is going to get a lot worse over the coming hours, and we are going to be expecting widespread rainfall into the morning. Temperatures at the moment are a little bit chillier than they've been recently, but still above average still relatively mild and they're going to get even milder tomorrow with that wedge of milder air pushing in with the weather front however in the days following by sort of wednesday thursday time we are going to see cold rest starting to flood back in and it is going to turn a lot chillier once again temperatures back down to average maybe even below average in places now, if you look at the weather warnings, we've still got this rain warning issued for parts of southwest England. It has been updated this morning to include nor uh, to extend it northwards across Wales. So no changes really to the numbers in here. We're looking at 15 to 25 mils. Same for the warning impact matrix, but it's just been expanded into more parts of Wales there. If you look at the latest UKV, you can see rainfall pushing in at the moment, but mostly light and patchy. But look at the wall of rain arriving through the early hours of the morning, giving us all a deluge into tomorrow now luckily as we head into the latter part of the afternoon most of that rain should clear and should be a little bit of a brighter better well wednesday afternoon but uh, we are now going to be in much more unstable air and we're going to see some really hefty showers moving in from the west and because it is colder polar maritime air there is the risk of some hail grout or even snow over higher ground mixing in with these so we're going to see some real heavy showers, squally showers pushing in overnight into Thursday. Might get woken up to the rain hitting the windows, for example, is that sort of conditions. But it does move through pretty quickly on a very strong westerly wind. Pretty horrible through much of Thursday there. Lots of heavy rain across England and Wales. Again, this could change because a lot of this is convective in nature and relying on localised areas of low pressure. So it could change, but from the latest UKV looking very horrible indeed. Beyond that, through the rest of Thursday into Friday, very unstable flow, lots of showers, and again, wintry in nature in places. Into Saturday, still very unsettled, and then could see another big area of rain moving in. And this could be a low pressure system really spinning up for southern areas. You see the mean sea level, sea level pressure is very low there, and wind gusts are really strong. Luckily, the strongest wind gusts are on the western and southern flank, so not impacting most of the British Isles. But the positioning and intensity of this low could change, and that could bring these 70, 80 mile per hour winds more towards parts of the British Isles. And if it did that, wouldn't be surprised to be seeing a named storm. Very much one to watch. If you look at the max temperatures, you can see into tomorrow, it's still above average, maybe 10 to 14 degrees, but turning a lot cooler into Thursday, and you see by Thursday afternoon, maybe only 5 or 6 in places as that fresher air moves in. The same can be said about Sat uh, about Friday, sorry, 5 to 7 degrees maybe for most areas, again, pretty chilly, and into Saturday as well seeing again five maybe to eight degrees so pretty cold and then into sunday still pretty chilly further northwards but across the far south we're starting to see a little bit of milder air moving in with that low but remaining chilly for most as we head through the rest of this working week from around wednesday evening to thursday onwards now if you check out the longer range if we start on the latest gfs you can see westerly winds coming in at the moment but you can see very dark blues 
uh, coming in, and that is tropospheric polar vortex moving in with cool polar maritime air. You can see it's a very unstable northwesterly flow. We could see small localized lows developing on the southern flank of this. GFS takes that low in, more into Europe, though, not quite as impacting the UK as much as the UKV does. It's a pretty blocked pattern beyond that. Nothing amazingly cold, but it would go drier and it would go chillier. Still low pressure around, so it probably wouldn't be all too dry, but it would be much colder, much more frosty, and there is even the risk of a bit of snow mixing in there with some of these colder air masses coming in from the north. If we do compare to the GM, uh, again, the Westly flow pushing in over the next couple of days, very strong tropospheric polar vortex or low tropospheric polar vortex moving in. And again, we can see these lows really spin up on the southern flank of that area of low pressure. And then generally staying very unsettled and westerly or northwesterly, more like actually, with cold air mixing in as well. So there is even the risk of seeing some more substantial snow into early March if we do see these cold upper air temperatures getting wrapped in within the low. Again, the most favourable over higher ground, but couldn't rule it out to low lying areas at times as well. If you do compare to the ECMWFC, what that is doing over the course of the next few days, again, westerly flow coming in, but again, it's this tropospheric polar vortex. Moving in again, that's southerly tracking low, and then again, staying very unsettled all the way out to day 10. So again, very strong consistency from the three main models today for chilly, very unsettled patterns in the short to medium term, maybe signs of high pressure moving back in as we progress into early March, but that could entail even colder patterns as we could see more northerly or easterly flows starting to develop. Nothing major at this stage, but definitely perhaps looking a little bit chillier in that longer term time frame. Again, what we'd expect with what we're seeing up in the stratosphere at the moment. If you have a look at the latest ensemble, you can see this well reflected, generally turning cooler, average to below average for the foreseeable future from around Wednesday, Thursday onwards, but staying very unsettled. Now remember, this is London, which is going to be furthest from the colder air masses. So uh, further northwards, of course, it's going to be chillier than this. But you can see it's staying very unsettled. And the GFS operation run is one of the coldest runs there with the minus five line being pretty consistent towards the latter part of February and early March. Again, wouldn't expect anything major, but you see temperatures maybe only four to six degrees by day. If compared to the ECM WF, uh, I have to look at the midnight run, it is fairly similar. A bit more of an upwards trend in the longer term, a lot longer term, a bit of a, uh, a bit of a spike there towards the end of the month. Again, uncertain exactly what that is entailing there. Perhaps a low pressure system that a lot of the ensembles are picking up on, but it is one to watch. The general trend still is for chilly conditions because around that the temperatures are average to below average and again very unsettled it is of course one to watch uh, but it is not looking particularly great over the next few weeks looking pretty horrible pretty cool maybe even pretty stormy into this weekend all eyes are on that southerly tracking jet stream what happens to those lows developing on the southern flank of this big lobe of tropospheric polar vortex we're going to be seeing we can see some very severe systems develop with on, uh, on that but at the moment the models are all in agreement something will form but are in disagreement about the intensity and the positioning which uh, is what we're going to be trying to determine over the next couple of days so anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.